Chapter 24 Pundit Shashadhar Wednesday, June 25, 1884 It was the day of the Ratha Yatra, the car festival of the Hindus. At Ishan's invitation, Sri Ramakrishna went to his house in Calcutta. For some time, the master had had a desire to meet Pundit Shashadhar, Tarok Churamoni, who had been staying with one of Ishan's neighbors. So it was decided that he would visit the Pundit in the afternoon. A few devotees, including Hazra, accompanied the master to Ishan's house. Ishan had invited one or two Brahmin scholars and a devotee who followed the tantric method of worship. Shrish and Ishan's other sons were also present. The master noticed that the tantric worshipper had a vermilion mark on his forehead and smilingly said, I see, he is branded. After a while, M and Norendra arrived and bowed before Sri Ramakrishna. The master had previously informed M that he would be at Ishan's house. The master joked about the delay in serving their meal. One of the scholars quoted a Sanskrit verse about the anxiety created in people's minds by the pangs of hunger. Proceeding to explain the verse, he said, The study of philosophy is indeed edifying, but poetry is more fascinating than philosophy. People listening to good poems Think of the study of philosophy, Vedant, Nyaya, Samkhya and so forth as dry and insipid. Again, music is more attractive than poetry. Music melts even a heart of stone. But a beautiful woman has an even greater attraction for a man's heart than music. Such a woman, passing by, diverts a man's attention from both poetry and music. But when a man feels the pangs of hunger, everything else, poetry, music and woman, appear as of no consequence. Thus, hunger is the most arresting thing. The master remarked with a smile, The Pondit is witty. Soon Norindru began to sing, A few moments later, the master went upstairs for a little rest. M and Shrish accompanied him. M introduced Shrish to the master, saying, He is a scholar and a man of peaceful nature. We were fellow students in our boyhood. Now, he is a lawyer. Master, it is a pity that such a man should practice law. M. Yes, sir, it was a mistake on his part. Master, I know a few lawyers. One of them shows me great respect. He is a straightforward man. To Shrish. 
What is your idea about the most essential thing in life? Shreesh God exists and he alone does everything. But the attributes we ascribe to him are not the right ones. How can a man conceive of him? His nature is infinite. Master What need is there of your counting the number of trees and branches in an orchard? You have come to the orchard to eat mangoes. Do that and be happy. The aim of human birth is to love God. Realize that love and be at peace. Suppose you have entered a tavern for a drink. Is it necessary for you to know how many gallons of wine there are in the tavern? One glass is enough for you. What need is there of your knowing the infinite qualities of God? You may discriminate for millions of years about God's attributes and still you will not know them.